Hello everybody, Exotic1 Gaming here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Showcase. So as you guys already know, Christmas is coming up. You know, I got my awesome looking Christmas skin on. But I want to do something Christmas related, and I decided to actually do three Christmas mods that I'll be showcasing within the next three weeks. But anyways, today I'll be reviewing the Christmas Festivities mod. What this mod does is it adds a whole bunch of Christmas items into Minecraft. A whole bunch of foods, decorations, just a whole bunch of thing to make a whole bunch of things to make your world a lot more Christmassy and happy. So I'm gonna be going over the items with you right now. First of all, everything's been retextured. Well most of these things have been retextured to make it more Christmas style, you know. Grass has been retextured, as you can already tell. Whoops. We have bedrock, dispenser, crafting table has been retextured too. It makes it look more Christmassy. What else do we have here? Um, jukebox, dispenser, and a whole bunch of Christmas tools. So everything right here has, I guess, like a peppermint stick on it. Even the bow has been retextured. Oh yeah, that looks so sweet. Just look at that. What else have been retextured? We have a whole bunch of retextured items. Buckets have been retextured. The cake, the bed. It's just so neat. And here we have all the new foods and items that I'll be going over. So, here we have the festive foods. And the reason why I'm not actually putting it on anything is because, you know, you have to access these to creative, so it won't be available in survival. Unless you cheat, of course. But there are no crafting recipes. At least I don't think there are any. But if there are, please let me know, and I'll definitely look into it. So here we have candy cane, sugar cookies, chocolate cookies, cookies with sprinkles, peppermint cookies, Christmas pudding, blueberry pie, and a peppermint stick. So all of these can be eaten in survival, even though you can't get them survival in survival legit. You can always get them in creative, switch over to survival, and eat these. I'm pretty sure they taste amazing. Over here on the festive decorations, we have ornaments. So you can grab some of these. We have some of these garlands. Snow globe, which I'll be talking about later in the mod review. So here are some ornaments we can place just anywhere that can hold. And then we have these garlands that you can also place around, make everything look nice, all Christmassy and happy. You know, it's so happy in here, stuff like that. So that's that. And we also have some peppermint logs, plate of treats. This will be for putting in your snacks, fireplace, some of these blocks, bricks. This, which is a snow machine, which I'll also be talking about. So here, let me show you guys how it looks. Look at this. This is so neat. And let me switch over to daytime real quick. There you go. I <laughs> just typed it in wrong. We have plate of treats, which we can actually put food in. So let me demonstrate that after I demonstrate all the other things. So we have fireplace, which actually emits light, which is also really cool. Ice brick, carved ice brick, cracked ice brick, cobbled ice. Snow machine, which when you right click on it, it will, I guess, give you this sort of crafting table thing. What it's supposed to be able to do is go into survival, right click, and place snowballs and things like that in it. As you can tell, fill with ice, snow, or snowballs, activate with redstone signal. But for some reason, it's not really working for me. Nothing really happens, so I'm probably not going to try that. Candy planks, which are all really sweet, but there are no crafting recipes, unfortunately, because I would love to build my house with that. It looks amazing. So now with the plate of dishes. So I'm going to clear all that. I'm going to grab some of these foods. We have sugar cookies, chocolate cookies, cookies with sprinkles, peppermint cookies, Christmas pudding, and a blueberry pie. Let's see. If we right-click, let's see, we have six. We need one more of those plates to have everything. There we go. Okay, so if we right click on the plate with our cookies, we actually place one in, as you can tell. But if you just keep spamming it, you actually keep placing it. I'm not sure what the maximum is, but I should count next time. But see, now it's filled up with cookies, and it looks amazing. And I'm pretty sure if you right click with their hand, it will bring the cookies back out, and you can just pile them back in. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 19. 20 I believe that was really fast. So I couldn't actually count but around 20 cookies So let's put some of these in put them all in Stack these all in and the fireplace is making a really amazing sound makes me all toasty on the inside Even though we're in a snow biome, it's supposed to be cold 
And Chris's pudding, unfortunately, you can only put two of them in there, so you can't actually complete the set, the entire pudding. And Blue Bay Pie, which you only have one. And look at all this amazing food. So now we have all that done. I'm going to move over to these materials, which can be found by grass blocks, tall grass, and other plants. So these are holly, seasonal fruits, snowflake, and none of these have crafting recipes, unfortunately. But I'm just showing them off because it's part of the mod. So the next one is the magic candy cane. I'm not sure what this actually does because it doesn't, to me, it doesn't really do anything. I've tried it in creative and survival. It doesn't really do much. So I'm not sure. But now, it is time for the thing I was going to be talking about, which is the snow globe. This is the magical snow globe that would actually bring us to another dimension. So I put this down right here. If I look into it, it will actually bring me to the new dimension called the Kringle. Yes, the Kringle. That's a really weird name, but that's true. So as you can tell, if I look into it, I slowly go in, but of course I don't want to. What you can also do is if you right click on it, you can actually change the design inside the snow globe. So like that, we put some ice down like that. We got a, was that a Christmas tree or something? I think that was a house. Now we got some candy canes. I think that might be a house. What is that? I'm not sure. But anyways, let's look into it and let's go to the crinkle. Okay, here we are, guys. We're in the Kringle. And this is how the entire dimension looks. It is forever nighttime, so they will always be here at night. Well, you will always be here at night. And this place is just a massive snow biome, a never ending snow biome, except what's so great is trees are actually decorated with ornaments. So you can just come in here, take them all, and run off. Most of the trees are decorated with ornaments. We have peppermint blocks all over the place and let me actually try something. I want to try something real quick. If I head on into survival, if I break this, so it's a peppermint log. Can I craft anything with it? Ooh, I can craft candy canes. So I guess there are crafting recipes. I just don't know about them yet. Can I craft sticks? Nope. Oh, there it is. Peppermint sticks. Okay, so it only you only need to put it in one spot. Okay, so I never knew that. That is really cool. I'm going to switch back into creative now. Game mode 1, and now, as you notice, you will see, if you've been paying attention, these creepers, I believe they are called, what are they actually called, I don't know, I'm so unprepared, I'm sorry guys, I'm that unprepared. Spawn candy creeper, and of course they look like this, and they're all over the place, they spawn naturally in this biome, in this dimension, and what's so special about them is they are not just ordinary creepers. Oh crap, they're coming after me. When they explode... Wait for them to explode. They don't actually do that much damage, but they will actually drop... Well, they will explode candy canes or peppermint sticks, so they have a chance of either... When they explode, they'll either drop candy canes or peppermint sticks. You probably didn't see that well enough, so I'm gonna spawn another one. There we go, it doesn't actually do damage to the terrain. It will just explode and drop these amazing, delicious candy treats. So to head back into the overworld, what you need is another snow globe. So let me just go grab that real quick, and pretty much what you do is you just look straight into it, and you'll head back. As you can tell, we're zooming out now, not zooming in, because we're going back out, so obviously we have to zoom out. It's a pretty neat technique, I like it, and we are back! So here we are guys, back at our, I guess our Christmas base. Not much of a base, I just set up doing the mod review. But yeah guys, this is pretty much the end of the Christmas festivities mod review. Let me see, I'm not I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. Did I miss anything? If I did, well, you guys can just tell me and let me live in guilt, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed this mod review. This is gonna be the first of three mods that I'll be reviewing, three Christmas mods that I'll be reviewing over the next three weeks. So this one will be today. The next one will be next week, and then the one will be the week after next week, and it will all be done before Christmas, so it will be really cool. And I still have my Christmas skin, so I'm still embracing the Christmas spirit. And yeah, so you got, if you guys want to try this mod for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. It will bring to the forums page where you can download the mod and have a whole bunch of fun with it. Build yourself a Christmas house. Just get yourself a Christmas environment because it looks all nice. 
and stuff. And yeah, don't forget to eat this food and become fat like me if I ever eat that. I don't think I... Let me see. Can I? Yeah, let's try one. Before we leave, I gotta try one of these delicious cookies. Sugar cookies. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, go, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick mod review. If you did, please leave a like and a subscribe for next week's Christmas mod review. And I'll see you guys next time.